Hey all you rock fans out there in YouTube land, look at this chunk of agate I've got right here. You see it has this beautiful crystal top on it. Sparkles, I like that. And then the rest is this sort of chalcedony base. Isn't that cool? I don't want to disturb this top because I think it's really beautiful. But what I think we can do with this one is these sides are mostly flat anyway. Let's just polish these sides, get them nice and flat and then shiny. A little bit of an area there I gotta knock off. But get these sides nice and shiny, and then look at it. I'll bet it'll be stunning. Set it down as a little display piece at that point. So let's, let's do it. Let's take this into the shop, get it on the, probably the cabbing machine, get these sides smooth and shiny, then we'll come back here and take a look at this little sparkly rock. Starting with the 80 grit wheel on the cabbing machine, let's go ahead and get the shape of this thing just the way we want it. There you go, that's how it looks. The sides are fairly smooth, as you can see. I, I touched all the surfaces with that grit, which is important. Now we move on to the 220 grit wheel where we clean up those scratches. A little fine tuning, I suppose. This is how it looks now. All the big scratches are gone. Looking pretty good. Next up is the 280 grit soft wheel. All right, check it out. It's looking smooth and a shine is starting to form. That's a good sign. Here we are on the 600 grit wheel. This is where the polish should begin. There you go. The shop lights are starting to reflect. That's a good sign. Next up is the 1200 grit wheel. Here's how it looks after that. It's always shown dry, remember. Looking good, the shine's coming through nicely. Let's move on to the 3000 grit wheel. And what will this do for our shine? All right, there you go, looking good. I could stop there, but I think we can do a little better. Let's move on to the cerium belt on the wet belt sander. Here, we'll spend a couple of moments on this belt. And what does the final polish look like? Ooh, there you go. Check it out, that's, that's pretty. I like that. You can see the reflection of the lights, and if you look, you can see out the garage door. It was a hot, sunny day in Texas. Triple digits, as I recall. There, there's the fan blowing on me to try to keep me cool. The best part, though, are these sparkles on top. The crystal, doesn't that look beautiful? I, I love that part. Well, let's move inside and take a closer look. Check it out, our little agate crystal is all finished. What do you think? Check it out. Oh, I like this. I think it turned out really nice. What do you think? Shine's pretty good, don't you think? I got all kinds of lights on this thing now. I've, <laughs> I've added different lights, trying to make this as presentable as possible. I still haven't found the ideal lighting situation, but I'm working on it. Just know that I'm always trying to improve this lighting for you. So look at the sparkle. That may be my favorite part of this rock. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and that chalcedony, what a shine it takes. That is gorgeous. Ah, the bottom didn't touch that. But the rest of it looks pretty good. I hope you like this quick video. I sure enjoy making these for you, and I appreciate you watching them. So please be sure and check my other videos for a lot more like this. Thanks again.